opening numbers. Stevenson's a hit. That BD? Shouldn't have released it, really. Get all that shit I said to you. Eddie's will hit your pocket soon. And should I mention there'll be a bonus? Enjoy! What's trending on the street right now? Idiosyncrasy. Forget about other people. You need to express yourself. Show this city who you are. You been running this place long? Few years now. Used to be a fashion designer. What happened? Same thing that's happening everywhere. Gave the job to some algorithm. Program can spit out a thousand new designs in a second. Can't compete with that. Looking for some nice threads. Nothing tacky. We'll find you something dapper in no time. What is it? Hello? Lizzie? Shit.
V, hey, come here, let's talk. V, baby, listen. Got a yarn for you. Quick biz, that is. You interested? All right, lay it on me. I was cruising the net, you feel? And I spotted an interesting classified. Wait, let me guess. Performance enhancers? He used Mr. Stud cheap. Now, I'm a serious man, V. And serious matters are what, if not all, that concern me. Somebody's selling a book of spells. Edition dating from before the first net crash. Now, you know a thing or two about that, don't you? Like, how much that soft could run you and earn you. You want me to club it for you, don't you? Uh-uh. <clears throat> No clipping required. Just buy the damn thing. Reimburse you twofold. Sending me out to do your shopping? Want a case of Nicola with that? Algae chips? Think on it, V. A treasure, and someone's willing to part with it. Now who does that? The hard up, V. 
and desperados got this unsavory side. They're unpredictable. One word off their mood, and they reach for their heat. That's why I need you to meet the seller. You got heat at the ready. Okay, will do. That's my girl. Zipping you the deets on the cellar. And luck be with you all the way. Sounds about right. Price non-negotiable. You'll need to pay in full on pickup. Clear enough. Agreed. Prime. I flipped you the address. Come by your lonesome.
Uh, yeah. Never mind. Uh, yeah? Spellbook. You got it? I do indeed. Tucked away somewhere safe. You want coordinates? I need to see my money. You trying to fuck me? No, not at all. I just... Because I really got it in for people who try that. Always tempted to end any conversation like that. Violently. Abruptly. You'd be making a mistake. A big one. I'm not out to con you. Also, I'm not a victim. I'm prepared just as well as you are. Not about to do any biz with a petty con. And you do good to avoid me all the time. Everywhere. Zeta Tech XPR. <laughs> Gotta be like 50 years old. Least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day.
Ginny. So? Got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Tofu, tuna, and pineapple flavor. Uh, now there's two things that don't belong in the same sentence, let alone on the same pizza. You're kidding, right? We're talking pizza. And I'm dead fucking serious. So, I'll see you come evening. You gonna tell me this big secret of yours? Figured out how to tweak behavioral chips. Turn dolls into fighters. Sounds like my kind of plan. We'll go over the specifics tonight. You're coming, right? Of course I'll be there. Stuck on where to take my style. Anything you'd recommend? Your eyes remind me of autumn. Might I suggest a piece from Chiaki Kyoto? I'd like to use your services.
Hey, V. Good to see you. How's it going? V. Hey, come here. Let's talk. So, you got the book? You got my Eddie's? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. The tablet's worth heaps more. I know that, and you know that. Maybe it is. But I offered you a price, and you accepted it. Any contract can be declared null and void when a party thereto is proven to have acted in bad faith. All right. Have it your way. You are hereby awarded a bonus. Pleasure doing business with you. Later. V. Word of advice. Don't pull shit like that with me. Just don't. reports from the Badlands. A Militech humanitarian convoy was attacked by a ruthless band of nomad outlaws. Corporate security forces responded with force only as a last resort after their escape route had been cut off. Although several Militech vehicles suffered damage, the nomads have failed to open them. Reinforcements called to the attack site managed to repel the assailants and secure the transport's cargo. Unfortunately, approximately a dozen employees were killed in the assault, including veteran of the Unification War and Crimson Heart recipient of the Nova.
Lizzie, what in the... Fuck. Now I get the rush. V, I... I, I was angry. I, I, I pushed him. These fucking arms, these hands. Oh my god. You ever... wake up in the middle of the night? And not know who you were for a second? Or, I mean... You ever feel like you weren't really you? I... That's how I feel all the time. Every moment. This emptiness, this helplessness. I stopped seeing, creating. Just now, I, I... I just wanted to break up with him, you know? Tell him I wanted him out of my life. But I... I don't even know how, when. I... I... So Liam really did have a reason to be afraid of you. I didn't mean to, understand? I didn't mean to! Sure, maybe. All the same to him, though. So this is about the body, right? That's why you called? Yes, I... The media can't hear about this, got it? That would be... Oh. Huh? The world would eat it up. A tale of the temptation to control another's memory. A grim reminder that a person is merely a collection of bites that can be copied, reproduced, copied, reproduced. Lizzie, snap the fuck out of it. What about the body? I don't know. Do whatever. Take it somewhere. Burn it. I'll pay you. Okay. I'll take care of it. You sleep soundly now. Sleep? I won't sleep. I don't need to. Thank you, Liam. You don't realize it, but you've given me something beautiful. The hell are you talking about? Go, V. Go. And take him with you. Someone... someone should give you a checkup. See if you're okay, Lizzie. Someone you trust? I like what's happening to me. Lovely to meet you, V. Now go, go.
Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Respect. A feat in itself from what I've seen of the place. Just been lucky, I guess. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Feeling better? You look better? I'm on autopilot. I don't think. Just do. Sound method. How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Subtlety comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. By the way, Boris didn't show up for work today. Or yesterday. No shit, I wonder why. Got sick, maybe. Or... Hit the lottery jackpot. Bought himself a ticket to the moon. Hmm, could be anything. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Tech that's all pros and no cons. I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine that would be through months of testing on a range of subjects. There's an ethical side, too. You could murder someone and not remember a thing. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. How did you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds? Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screwdrivers than let an idea like this run its course. All right? Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles her. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? 
Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! <laughs> Gotta do some v? cardio! Nice work, Judy. I did yourself. If you were to sell that, be the richest Judy in the NUSA. Please. Plenty of killing machines in the world. I don't want to turn more people into them. After this, chips are getting micro-nuked. V? I got something to say. Just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. Most stolen works eventually find their way to collectors in private or V? <sighs> okay. Crowley settles it. The chip works. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but... It's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Whole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two-pronged assault. Loving it. <laughs> Plan just might work. Michael, take it you're on board too? Wouldn't be wasting my time here if I wasn't. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know? I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? Rather not have to flatline anyone. What she said. Hope is it won't be necessary. Overpower Hiromi. Humiliate him. Should be enough. Bosses will put him out of the game. Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy! For real? No. Don't want to hear it. But you- uh, uh, uh. Not a word. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna club? <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip? Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? 
One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Oh shit, not good.